any text and click on detect AI. It will give you the details of whether it was written by a human or AI. Okay, now you can see that this particular block was 100% written by AI. In the last video, we checked out content creation tool, Copymatic. In today's video, we'll explore yet another content creation platform, which is Quillboard. Welcome to the thousand days of no code challenge, day 134. Like Copymatic, even Quillboard has a lot of features, but mainly for different purposes. Like Copymatic, Quillboard also has a lot of tools included within the same platform. So. Let's explore it. To begin, let's go to quillbolt.com and uh, we have paraphrasing tool, grammar checker, plagiarism checker, AI detector, translator, summarizer, and much more. So we'll start with paraphrasing tool. And what this does is you copy paste a uh, text. It will paraphrase and give the output over here. And for that, let's go to with7.com slash block and let's go to bubble templates. I'm going to copy this particular text from here and paste it over here. Now you have options of standard, fluency, humanize, formal, academic, boomer and so on and so forth. And you can also adjust the synonyms for paraphrases, right? You can go and as you can see, fewer changes means more accurate, whereas more changes will be less accurate and uh, anything here would be a paid feature. I'll leave it to default and click on paraphrase. So you can see that it is having just 125 words limit. So I'll just remove uh, the second paragraph from here maybe. I'll remove the third paragraph that we had here. And then you can see that we have got the paraphrase shown on the right side. So what it does is basically changes the sentence in slightly different order, okay? So we had every entrepreneur faces a crucial decision at the beginning of their development process. And here, at the start of their development process, every entrepreneur must make the important choice of whether to employ a template or create an app from scratch, right? So it gives you what is the change that it has done, right? And that's uh, paraphrasing. And as we can see, we can also use their Chrome extension, which can then be used on Discord, Canva, Notion, and so many other places. Now let's go to grammar check and i'll copy paste the same text that i had before and it will give us the writing score okay you can see that uh, free premium recommendation their own we can change it to that right if you click on it then it gets changed okay and uh, it says everything is good likewise if you go to ai detector you can copy paste any text and click on detect ai it will give you the details of whether it was written by a human or ai Okay, now you can see that this particular block was 100% written by AI. Okay, now let me go to some old block that we had, which I know for sure was written by a human. So let's go with this one and I'll take this particular text and add it over here. Detect AI. Okay, so you can see that it says 0% of text is likely AI, right? So everything is being shown on the human side. Uh, so you can see if a particular thing is actually written by AI or human using this particular tool. Likewise, we can check uh, plagiarism checker. Okay, again, this is a paid feature. Uh, you can go to summarizer where you can give a long text added over here. Okay, for example, this particular thing. So you can get the summary of this particular text. You can adjust the summary uh, length here. You can also get this in bullet points, right? So if you want uh, bullet points, then you can get it that way. Mainly helpful if you have larger content so that uh, you can get it in a short format so that you can quickly go through the points and understand what it's all about and likewise they have translator they have citation generator and they have quill board flow and this is very interesting you can create a new project and uh, you can type in something okay let's say i'll add in the text that i copied so once you add the text you can uh, paraphrase it summarize it translate it or suggest text right you also have the option of uh, checking the errors. Okay, it says 90 words are there and uh, total there is zero, error percentage is zero and so on so. So that's about Quillboard for you. Like before, check out Quillboard and its tools and share with us what you think about the platform. If you know similar platforms, please type in in the comments below or share it in our community so that others can also explore new different tools. Thank you for watching. As always, I will see you in the next one.